Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Money Matters Top Tips for Success, where each and every day I bring on new business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives and have them share their top tips for success with you. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, moneymatterstoptips.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Kevin Sultani on the line, and he is founder and CEO over at the Global Investment and Management Associates Group, also known as GEMA Group. Uh, Kevin, welcome to the show. Adam, thanks for having me. How's it going today? Oh, man, everything is awesome, and I'm excited to get into uh, what you're doing over at the GEMA Group and also um, and get into uh, it, what the future of alternative investments look like. Um, so excited, exciting to have this conversation with you. Esports, blockchain, cannabis, uh, lots of things going on. Um, but before we do that, let's get into your background a little bit. So uh, how did you get started in your career? Yeah, you know, thanks for having me again to all the viewers and listeners out there. appreciate your time and energy and uh a little bit about myself and how we got to this call was uh, I was passionate about all things technology and mathematics uh, back in the early days. In my past life, I was a stock trader, uh, fresh out of college, went to Manhattan and did the stock trading route. The financial crisis uh, definitely turned some things around for uh, my generation. And so that pushed me more into my technology passions, which uh, started out as cryptocurrency mining and i was the first southern california company to deliver customized mining hardware uh, on a customized platform to uh, client citizens around southern california and that was in 2012 and 13. Um, and we moved on and uh, from crypto mining to other paths in the tech space where the buzzwords of today like you mentioned blockchain crypto uh, i'm sorry blockchain cannabis and esports they're not just massive buzzwords of business right now, but they are great technological opportunities and advances happening in each one of those. So continuing on the technology route, here we are today working on all three of those top business aspects, but uh, really focused on technology. Man, I think that's a great transition. Um, let's, let's, get, let's just jump right into GEMA Group. So tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Yeah, like I mentioned, uh, GEMA Group, before the name, we were the first Southern California company to deliver customized uh, cryptocurrency mining hardware on the platform. That was through mm -hmm. BitRig Builders. We sold that company in 2014, and uh, we owned and operated about seven uh, farms, mining farms in six different continents, uh, literally all the continents around the world, except for Antarctica, we have a mining farm on. And uh, <laughs> mining was great, wow. and it was yeah, it's exciting, you know. Uh, mining is it's still great, uh, but it was really great about five, ten years ago, you know, five, six years ago, and um, still a passion of ours, but we wanted to uh, scale a little bit, and uh, so we added our consultancy services and advisory where we help uh, clients, customers uh, build their technologies in the blockchain space. So we have a team of over 300 techs in four different countries, Southeast Asia, mainly in Southeast Asia, um, to Middle East that build these technologies from communication platforms to an added layer of security on your application and payment solutions um, as well. And more recently with eSports, a uh, lot of cool things going on. We have an agency and a few teams around the world where we're competing in uh, mainly League of Legends, so exciting times. Man, that's really exciting, and um, let's uh, let's just get into it. Uh, future of alternative investments. I um, love that you brought up esports. Uh, where do you want to start? Esports, blockchain, cannabis. What what do you what do you see going on? Yeah, you know, I, I get asked that a, a lot when uh, I do speaking engagements around the world, mainly for blockchain. But everybody's main question is, where do you think you know Bitcoin's going tomorrow, or where do you think the technology of blockchain is going? But in all three of those, cannabis, esports, and blockchain, uh, what I tell people is. Blockchain is a technology that already has revolutionized uh, the business landscape, the, the law landscape, the medical landscape, everything in between, doing some crazy things for technology uh, already. But we're not going to hear about those technologies for another three to ten years, depending on the speed of our economies. But cannabis and esports are both industries that uh, investors, clients, brands are seeing their returns happen on a daily or weekly basis. It's happening so quick and so fast that I deny it, 
as a business. And so we jumped into it full force where we switched our model from about 80% blockchain business now over to 80% cannabis and esports businesses. The growth is just astronomical in those two businesses. So blockchain is great. It's doing its thing, but it's going to need some massaging and time to get to where we want to go for our investors to return capital. And so let's go a little, I, you know, some of the listeners here, maybe they're, um, let's just say, uh, you know, business owners, entrepreneurs, because of age demographic, they don't even really know how big the esports, um, everybody knows cannabis. Like we, we know what that's happening. That gets the majority of the time. And I would argue for some of the uh, more mature generations, esports doesn't get as much play. People still think it's kind of like, you know, oh, video games or this or that. Can you give a, a background of what's going on in esports? Because it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, that's the typical answer, uh, you know, like the older generation would say, you know, A, it, it started with, I don't want my kids to sit in the basement playing video games 12 hours mm-hmm. a day. Then it turned into, uh, you know, go get a college degree, stop playing or stop manufacturing business uh, games. Then it turned into, don't make your brand uh, affiliated to gamers because, you know, whether it's shooting or, you know, the crazy things you hear about it. So, all of that is I can blow it out in one stat, and that's with uh, Twitch last year, which owns about arguably 70% of all the streaming for esports, had something around 800 million hours watched uh, on stream. <laughs> and oh 800 gosh. million hours can't be streamed live. So you're talking about replays and shares. And wow. Um, that number is just on one single platform and with an age demographic uh, less than 10 years age range. So if you're looking at phase one for any industry, which we know esports is definitely in phase one, the, mm-hmm. the growth from where we are now is going to be just astronomical. So what I tell older generations is it took MLB 153 years to get here. It took the NBA about 107 years, the NFL 60-something years. Uh, we're in esports just hitting a decade and some games just about five years. And we just had League of Legends crush 70 million viewers on its championship just a couple months ago. <laughs> these, these are the stats that I tell people. I don't explain what esports is. I don't explain the money. I explain the numbers. And if you understand that, then you'd be a fool not to join. Wow, that's amazing. Um, love it. Love the stats. Love the numbers. And uh, it's just obvious. And I've interviewed quite a few people from different segments of esports and different areas. And when I every time I hear something new that's happening, it just blows my mind. And uh, for me, I know I watch on Cheddar. So on Cheddar Business, they always have uh, stuff they're, that they're featuring on esports. And that's where it threw me off. And that's where it kind of came back on my radar because I'm like, wait a minute. There's like stadiums full of people being filled. I mean, this looks like a freaking Super Bowl, and I'm like, because I'm not claiming I've ever had skills in the gaming department. I like them, but I and I play, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm all about it. But I'm, I'm not claiming I've ever had skills like these guys. This is a, it's a, it's a profession, and there's people making uh, obscene them. I shouldn't say obscene, but great um, livings from doing it, and from just like any athlete. Yeah, exactly. I mean, just like the success story of the NBA, where. A Slovakian kid, uh, you know, like we see these days, a lot of the Eastern European kids are playing really good ball in the NBA. This is a kid with a dream uh, to come bounce the ball around and somehow made it to the NBA. The same goes with our players, and I'll give you a direct example of one of my players coming from Turkey. Uh, Turkey is not the smallest nation in the world. It's not the most respected nation in the world, but um, it's definitely a place you wouldn't expect a big athlete to come from. We have in the NBA and around, but I have a few Turkish players uh, contracted just under $1 million to play eSports in America. So they got to live their dream out in their professional sport, uh, getting paid very handsomely, doing very well for brands that have associated with them, and they got to to come to America and play that on visas and and work permits and everything legal. So the, the transition of traditional sports and the dream that the kid has when he's a child is absolutely no different from esports and the dream that you can sell that child, the brand, or the parent involved. Uh, so it, it's Man. much more assimilated than we think it is. Man, I love this, Kevin. This is awesome. You got me all fired up. I'm like, I want to do it. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> We're yeah. going. I want to do it right now. I'm like, you what? I don't know, but I'm excited. So thank you, Kevin. <laughs> so, you know, hey. You're, um, you're in L.A., and, and 
for any of the viewers out of LA, uh, Riot Games is one of the largest game producers oh, out yeah. there. They have a studio in LA starting January 25th, every Saturday, Sunday. Uh, you guys can got, buy tickets to watch these uh, players play in an actual stadium, uh, e sports stadium in LA. Uh, if you have any interest in feel and touch the product, I would say come watch this and you'll break the stigma of that basement player and you'll see an actual live sport event happening uh, with gaming. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. I had no idea. No, that's great great info and I'm right down the street from them in Santa Monica, so I know I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Um so that being said, uh Kevin, if somebody's listening to this and they want more information on Team of or to connect with you, um what's the best way for them to do that? Yeah, no, I appreciate uh, you guys' time, yourself, uh your time. Uh anybody interested to do anything great in this world, whether it's the three buzzwords we talked about I do a lot of life and wealth coaching for the Tony Robbins Foundation. So anything you're passionate about in business, we're just as passionate as you are uh, in anything business, specifically tech. So we would love to connect with anyone and everyone. I, I, I really believe LinkedIn. I truly love LinkedIn. I could give you my email, uh, which might get lost in the inbox, but I truly am a LinkedIner. So would love for people to get connected with me on LinkedIn. Kevin Sultani, uh, you know, backslash Kevin Sultani. Our website is there. Our contact is there. So I really believe in LinkedIn as the big platform right now. So we'd love to connect with all of you. Man, and you just taught me a new word. You said you're a LinkedIner. I didn't know that was a thing. If it's not a thing, it is now. I'm saying I'm a LinkedIner for yeah, now well, because I, I, I like LinkedIner. Podcast, I got it coined, you know? Hey, you do have it coined. LinkedIner. I would 100, man, you go brand that. You know how good you are at business. Go brand that. I'm a LinkedIner. Are you? Oh, it's awesome. In. I, I um, and yes, I will wear that button. I'm a LinkedIner too. I'm a LinkedIner too. Who else? Com- hit the comment section on this YouTube video. If you're a LinkedIner, put it in the comments in YouTube. To right now, <laughs> and uh, I guess we just found the next book we're gonna write, right? <laughs> awesome! I'm LinkedIner in. Well, hey Kevin, I um, really do appreciate you uh, coming on the show and uh, sharing all your background and all the great work you're doing. And uh, to the audience, as always, thank you for uh, for tuning into this. I uh, hope you got a lot of value out of it. If you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Money Matters Top Tips. Leave me some comments if you're a LinkedIner because I want to know. I like it. It sounds good. LinkedIner brings dinner. I'm in. Um, and uh, <laughs> hope you had a great time because we had a great time uh, recording this for you. And, uh, Kevin, thanks again for coming on. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.